thank you for chatting with us here at New York Comic Con. I know you're from New York, so how is it? You, and you're visiting, I guess. <laughs> I am. So how are you finding it? But so he's far? lived here before. I have you lived have, here. Yeah. yeah, I lived here right before Family Guy started. I believe you tried to convince Seth to move here with Family Guy. Is that right? A long time ago? No, I didn't actually. No? I was I was living here. I wanted to be on SNL. I was doing improv. This right. was like 1997, 98. And then Seth called and said, hey, I sold that show we've been talking about. And so, uh, so he told you to me. And I, yeah. yeah, so it sounded like a good opportunity. Yeah, well, it obviously was. Yeah, it worked out. seasons later. And obviously the show now has just won an Emmy and Alex Borstein. How did you guys react to hearing that? I was very excited. He I mean, was just visiting Alex in I, Spain I went to two days ago. Yeah, she's, uh, she, I mean, she should have won many times over for the amount right. of work she's done. So we were excited for her and excited for the show. But the, the truth is, like, She's amazing to work with, and so, you know, we would give her an Emmy and give him an Emmy every week and give Seth an Emmy every week. You know, it's like it's... It's about time. She's, she is so funny. She is yeah. so freaking hilarious. I'm so glad for her, for the Miss Maisel Award she got. And, uh, you know, she's, you know, it's her time. She's earned all this, and she's, it's an honor to be on the cast with her. Well, all you guys are so funny. You certainly make me laugh each week. And I'm wondering, what is it like in that white writer's room? You know, what happens on a day-to-day basis? <laughs> Is there anything particularly that's changed this season? It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's you know a bunch of people cracking each other up, saying a lot of things that would never make it on TV. And uh, you know, it's we get to laugh and make each other laugh for a living. That's as simple as that. It's great. We actually have foam padding around the room so that nobody passing in the hallway has to hear, hear whatever <laughs> vulgar thing we're coming up with. But so, you know, sometimes you have to. You know, the, the fun of being in the writers' room is is a lot of times you're not talking about the script you're talking about some, something that happened in your real life and you decide is this something we can discuss and you know it turned out that it, that someone had a story of uh, maybe a parent being uh, changing sexes and we said wow that's that's really something that you went through it and then a year later uh, Quagmire's dad became a woman so it's like you have to go through the process of being able to discuss anything right. to find you know right. the, the stuff you're going to be able to use absolutely and both of you guys have your voicing as well. We know you mainly as Cleveland, but we see you in the premiere, right. essentially marrying Brian and Jess. Uh, yeah, yes. uh, yeah there, was, there was a line, yeah, but a, few, a few pitches didn't make it in for that. He was, Bruce was going to come out at one point, but that's unnecessary. And, uh, <laughs> there was a fantasy yeah, island know. with John Stossel. I mean, there's things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's lots of jokes that we that don't get in, and the one that, bu- that bummed me out was when Meg we did an episode years ago when it was far in the future and Meg had had a, uh, a sex change and they wouldn't let us say that she hadn't had a dick to me. So, um, you know, get, get away with what you can. That's so the one that I wish we got. Yeah, that's right. Don't that, though, what was the, like, the hardest battle that you've had to have with the senses this, this year? Well, we never have to deal with that because we have Rich. Yeah. <laughs> Rich Appel runs the show. And he, yeah. He's a former New York State prosecutor, so he's pretty good at, at arguing for, yeah. for jokes. Yeah, it's good to have him. But... Yeah. Okay. yeah, but it's it's amazing that we, you know, we, we're it's great for us because we're like in kindergarten and we don't really know what the rules are. Right. So we just play and then the adults have to go out in the real world and say, no, you don't understand. And, and sometimes, you know, I, I think calling somebody, quote unquote, a dick was something that we were able to get back by because uh, we weren't using it in a descriptive descriptive way of a body part. We were saying, like, that's just a term of someone who's not a good person. Right. And so that was a standards battle that yeah. we happened to win 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. And you so can then, call someone a dick. You just can't talk about their... Yeah. Are we allowed to use that? Thank you. For <laughs> <laughs> but it, but, it, but it's, it's, it's really interesting how, you know, the... the we had the Wish Upon a Weinstein episode that they never aired right. back, you know, 18 years ago or whatever it was, yeah, based on, it. yeah, and then, like, issues of abortion that, like, in the 70s, you could address that you couldn't address. You know, so you're always sort of at the whims of, of whatever the general mood is. Well, I'm also going to ask you about the Orville, which I love, and I'm so happy to see both of you have been on it. Oh, wow, you knew I, that. I do. I remember it's the majority rule, but I know also that Dan is coming back for yep. season two. What can you tell me about that? <laughs> Uh, Dan the Alien is a lot of fun to play, other than the makeup time, which actually isn't too bad. Those guys are all cool, but uh, what a fun, a fun show! So Dan, Dan is in a bunch this coming season. With Lara this season, I believe. I don't know who told you that, but yeah. Well, Lara told me. Okay, so. good. Yeah, there's an episode where Dan asks someone on the ship out on a date, uh-huh. and uh, and that happens. But um, 
you know, it's time. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's about time. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. So. And are you going to be coming back at all in any way, shape, or form? Uh, I, I tend to walk around the set a lot and just try to get in on the edge of the frame, but yeah. no, I... I, I Hang don't out on the, in the bedroom. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, uh, no, I mean, I obviously, if Seth ever wanted me to come back, I like, I, I do, much like Family Guy, occasionally go and do table reads just so they can hear hear the jokes. Okay. Uh, but at this point, I, I think I would have to come back in some kind of makeup yeah, because they're absolutely. not going back to that planet. Next, you're going to be an alien. Uh, yeah, I, you know, why not? Thank it's you fine. so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Nice meeting you. You too. I really, really do love both of shows. Thank you so much.